a repeater here and a block with a torch and if I put some things in there Uh, no. Okay. I know I'm close with this thing, but I'm going to have to go look it up. I was hoping I could do this one without doing that. But, you know how it goes. Okay, I think I found what I needed. And let's see here if I can do this without muffing it up too badly. Alright. Comparator on subtract mode pull that out of there for now and it goes into a block and we have a dot on top of the block and a dot over here back there and then on top of that a block a block here and then Another comparator here, not in subtract mode, and then a block on top of the comparator, so shift and right click to place that, and that hook up there that feeds back into this, and so now when I put something in here, it starts kicking it out and that's exactly what I want beautiful and the beauty of this is it's completely automatic and yeah of course granted it's in the way if I want to do anything else with something else here but for right now this is going to be just fine um, well maybe this is not in a great place So I'm going to try to see if I can, all right, I will have to do some digging. All right, redstone here, comparator there. Block here, block there. That should do the same thing. Okay, yes, it does. Now, I thought it may uh, uh, lock that, but no, it's not. Or if it does, it's only when it, it's only briefly in pulses, and we don't care about that, as long as it continues to throw the items out. Yeah, all right. Now... I'm going to need some slabs. And this is going to be a part of it where I have to go get some stuff. Because what I need to do is uh, get some ice. Well, actually, there's ice outside. What am I thinking? I was thinking I'd have to run all the way back to the main base warehouse and get a stack of ice out of there. For one thing, there might be some in here. No. Of course not. Okay. And go ahead and get some daylight because I don't want to be interrupted by El Crapo because it's just something I don't want to deal with right now but yeah I do have a silk touch on me so
and that means that's going to mean having to fix this. Of course, I haven't decided whether I want it to stay water or not. I have for a very long time thought about filling this in, so I'll think about it. Anyway, back down below, because I'm getting somewhere here. A little bit of uh, a little bit of homebrew redstone. Okay, I'm looking up components that, uh, well, designs and whatnot that other folks have used in the past. But hey, what the heck, they work. And uh, this is all about taking something simple and doing something that works. All right, ice. Because things move faster when they are atop ice. Yeah. All right. Let's not put that there. It'll melt the ice. All right. Um, now, I need to know how far this way is that hopper. So it's at uh, minus 41 on the X and minus 812 on the on the Z. All right. So come in here, get on this, go this way. Okay. Eight twelve. So now I should just be able to go this way and break out into that room. And yes, I know this is horrifyingly dark. Okay, come on. I didn't mean to break that. Oh, that's going to be a pain. Well, maybe. Let's see. Shift. Jump and right click. Oh, how fartalicious. Oh, there it is. All right. I don't have to jump from here. So just shift, right click. And you're facing the wrong direction, you... Oh. Oh, my goodness. That means I have to... Uh, break all the droppers. And place them again. Also helps to have all of them. Now get the torch out of the offhand because when you're doing something like this, that's a pain in the butt. I gotta break the chest. Get the rest of these placed. Pop the chest down there, and we're good to go. And now I just have to go back downstairs and not break that. Ay, ay, ay. I should have realized I was getting close and made it a point to not just hammer on through. All right, put that there. All right, here we go. All 
All right, now. Make an ice pathway here. going to end up digging this out wider, I can tell. Yeah. Two blocks wider, in fact. Because I need room for the slabs. are melting this stuff. Oh, that's just priceless. too close, is that it? Alright, and just in case it does that again, a little bit of spill prevention. Alright, get this dug out. Lighting recessed and back a little ways like that should prevent any more torch inspired melting accidents. Well, that's if I actually move them all. All right. That's better. Alright, and we need a slab there. Slabs along here. Singles, not doubles, you genius. Uh, come on. Stop that. I'm running out of ice. thing. Of course, I don't guess it matters too much. All right. Now, here we have a block of ice that we break. Let's see. That over here. Maybe we don't have any more of that kind of nonsense, I hope. All right, now let's see. Top slab, ice, break it. Yeah. Top slab, ice, break. <laughs> How about that? It goes right down here. And okay, that's fine. The hopper will pick that up. Now the way this works is 
anything that gets kicked into the water stream is because of the ice underneath it going to move a lot faster when it gets to this it'll slide under the top slab and into the next source block that way the source blocks don't flow two ways well we don't want them to and things end up coming down here at a pretty good pace at least as fast as they are put into the stream at least fast enough to keep up with this so that means the wheat that comes down here into this hopper goes into that hopper goes into here and gets pushed into this which takes it into this item elevator and sends it upstairs into the chest now the only thing that remains is to take the signal for when the chest is full partially it's already done because it comes here to lock this hopper however that signal also needs to come over here and lock that hopper yeah and let's see how am I going to bring that signal over here to lock this hopper let's see comparator no I want repeaters for this okay So let's just tee it off here. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Repeater. I know I'm doing it too soon. I'd rather do it extra early than to be one step late. I am perfectly willing to spend an extra repeater of six. I don't care about that. All right, two, three, four, and then just, well, how about run it up a step and then parallel this up to the other. And basically run it down here and have it come out of this wall somewhere, probably about here-ish or so and then come up here and hook to this line with repeaters as needed to see to it the signal stays hot until it gets to this this thing so i'm going to go ahead and dig this in dig it out whatever let's get this dug You know, I don't know why I'm putting them up. I'm not trying to keep them away from ice this time. Okay. All right. That's fine. Now it's just counted out and put in repeaters as needed. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen repeater and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen repeater bingo that should do that all right granted it's not got the beauty of completely concealed redstone but in a way it's concealed it's down here and the stuff up top, there's going to be some kind of a building put around it. Okay. Well. I guess the next thing to do is to actually test this. Now, I know I throw stuff in here. Well, I know what I can do. First, let me clear most of my inventory here. Uh, 
maybe except for the stone. Yeah. All right. Now, let me head up top side here. Because if I start throwing stuff in that chest, it's just going to be spewing out all over before I'm ready for it. What I want to do is see to it that the chest is almost full. And I got a perfect solution. Anybody remember the Cluckomatic 1.0? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we got a mess of eggs because they're handy and it doesn't take mountains of them to fill the chest. Okay, I've got how many stacks of stone? Easily that many. Well, how about this? I will leave it so that there is a stack and a half of space. And when it's full, we get the signal here that goes, should shut off the uh, dropper stack and also shut off the flow of the uh, gadget, the dropper that's throwing stone into the water stream. So if I just take and throw two stacks of stone in here, break that torch that I put there to lock it, all right, locking that. Okay, this is kind of making a little bit of a mess here, so I don't know. Maybe over here, instead of slabs, okay. Oh, great. I just destroyed a bunch of redstone that made this thing work. Ugh. Well, before I go doing that again, let's go ahead and get those slabs replaced with blocks. Because I saw the way those things were getting kicked up out of there. So I'll just do this. I think everything was fine by the time it got down that far. Alright, now. Oh, man. That's a real complete mess. Alright. Comparator. I need this other comparator as well. I need a redstone dot here. I 
and a dot there and a comparator here and a block here and finally a block there that should take care of that oh that's right subtract mode Okay, that's working. And this is working. Now, if I come along here and just follow my redstone up. Okay, now what I'm going to want to see is when this gets full, in fact I will help it get full, it is full, there's a redstone signal going down. This guy is not working anymore. It's not doing anything. And I would say anything that was flowing at the time is right there in the bottom, which means when the system comes on again, that stuff will start being pumped out right away. Now over here, this signal is live. That means this hopper is locked which means nothing more will go into the dropper. Of course, right now there isn't anything to do that, but you can see it's going in here and just stacking up in the hopper, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. All right. It's... Okay, maybe it could be prettier, but when it comes right down to it, I am more interested in does it work than I am in is it pretty, you know, really. Uh, I, I'm not nearly so concerned about pretty as I am about does it work. So I'm going to call this a victory. This is a win. It works. It does what I want it to do. And that's good for me. So that means that what I will do now is... Uh, Let's see. Yeah, I'll take this redstone torch and I'm going to put that there because that's going to artificially keep this hopper locked. And that way I can take the stuff out of the chest on top because it really doesn't need to hold eggs. And by the way, it occurs to me. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. I had an idea. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. You're not empty anymore. But the Clockomatic. This was all manual. You'd park here, AFK, and collect eggs. Which was all fine and dandy. If that's what you wanted to do, or you were willing to spend the time. Of course, back in the day, that's how things worked. You know, but now, suppose where that pressure plate is, instead of a pressure plate, I put a hopper. And the hopper feeds into the sorting system down below the farm. And there's a few chests over there specifically set. To hold eggs. The one difference is that because eggs only stack to, 15, to 16, I would have to pull the eggs before any of the 64 stack items. Because you don't want to let the eggs get in with the things that stack 64 and sadness will result. 
lots of sadness. We don't want that. But, yeah, I think I've got something here. And it could be expanded on. I'm going to expand on it to include input from the pig farm side of things. And might as well include the clockomatic because these chickens, these chickens have been in there since beta. They've been in there since beta. So, yeah, around like in the beta 1.8 range. They've been in there that long. There's no sense in the world for me to not keep them in there. And, I mean, there's not even that many of them. There's like 10 or 15 of them, something like that. But they just sit there and they lay eggs. And anytime you're in the area and the place is loaded, eggs. And... Uh, they come flowing down here. They might as well go to an automatic storage and collection system. That way, when a bunch of them get used, the chickens in there use, well, they replace them. So what remains here is to build some kind of a building around this that leaves that chest accessible so that I can pull wheat out of it. And yeah, so what I'm going to do between this episode and next is I'm going to start replanting the farm. Wheat and potatoes on one side, wheat and carrots on the other side, and just a bunch of AFK time to uh, let it grow and then go in there and flip the lever for harvesting and then replant and do it over again and just do that a bunch ideally enough that i can at least get this chest full and have a mess of it stored in the storage system down below so that's what i'm going to work on doing and then from there who knows we'll think of something thanks for watching take it easy i am out of here